Hi everyone, we're going to carry on with measuring today and today we're going to look at measuring the different weight and mass of objects. So when we talk about weight or mass, we're talking about how heavy things are. So objects that are the heaviest or objects that are the lightest. The heaviest, so heavy objects and light objects. When we are measuring weight, what we usually use to measure weight are grams. And we can shorten this just like we have with our ML for millilitres and CM for centimetres to just a G, so a G for grams. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. These weights are different sizes because they need more of the object to be heavier. So this 20 gram weight is heavier than this 10 gram weight. We see 20 is a bigger number than 10. It's the bigger shape, it weighs more. Okay, it weighs more than this 10 gram. And the same with this, weighs more than a five, bigger, weighs more. What we're gonna do now is, we're gonna have a look at what equipment we can use to measure weight. Here we have a set of weighing scales, and you may have seen these before in your kitchen at home, because a lot of adults will use these for when they're baking or they're cooking, because what they can do is they tell us the weight of an object. On this side, we have four different weights. We have a one gram weight, a two gram weight, a five gram weight, and a 10 gram weight. And around the outside of the scales, what happens is when you put a weight on top of it in this tray, this little um, arrow or pointer will go round and point to how many grams it is. So I can show you doing that now. So here we have our scale and I'm going to put a one gram weight onto our scale and watch what happens to the hand on the scale. Watch what happens. So it's gone round. You see now it's moved round to the one because it has a one gram weight on it. OK, so what would happen if I added another one gram weight? Where do you think the arm would go to? Excellent. I'm going to add the two gram weight on now. Do you see each time I add more weight, the arm is going further around the scale. I'm going to add a five gram weight on. Excellent. See, our, our scale this time only goes up to 10, so I can't put a 10 gram weight on now. But if I changed it, I can make it go to 100 grams. And you see now I've got two bigger weights. I've got a 50 gram weight and a 100 gram weight. And there's little points in between each hand that tell us how many grams. So if I've got a one gram, it just moves a little bit. It moves a bit more, a bit more. But then if I put a 50 gram weight on, it shoots all the way around. That is how you use weighing scales. This is a balancing scale. And what you can do is if you put one object in to one on one side you can work out how much it weighs by balancing it out so the line the yellow line comes back to this position where it is flat okay so i can put my pen in there and i can then try different things to see what's heavy so maybe i can try putting my glue stick in here is that going to be heavy on my pen it is so the glue stick's too heavy and you see that whatever the heavier side is will drop so at the moment, that side's heaviest because it's got a pen in it. Uh, maybe let's try this pen to see if this pen levels it out or which one's heavier. So that pen is slight, this pen is slightly heavier than what this pen is. So now we try that in the pencil. Now that this side's too heavy, so it has dropped. If we put the same weight in each side, the balancing scale should remain the same, the yellow bar be straight. So I'm going to put 20 grams on each side, and it should roughly be straight in the middle. And you see, and if I've done that again this time, I'm going to add another 5 grams. It's the same. I can add a Lego brick to each side, it stays the same. I can add a Pearl on each side, a little crystal. The balancing scale should remain the same. What I would like you to do now, you one, is I would like you to make some predictions and you can write these down in a book. Okay, 
I'm gonna put some different items in, or I'm gonna show you two items, and I want you to predict which one is heavier. So remember, the heavier side will drop down like this, so this will be the heavier side, and the lighter side will shoot up, okay? So we're gonna start this first of, what is heavier? Three people or a rubber duck? What do you think? So have a prediction. I'm gonna put the people in on this side. So that side's now heaviest, but I haven't put a duck in yet. Let's put the duck in this side. Which side's gonna be heavier? So it's the people that are heavier. Okay, number two, what's gonna be heavier? Nine pieces of Lego or one crab sharpener. So I'm gonna start with the crab sharpener on this side. If he fits, he's in. And let's see if our nine pieces of Lego weigh more than the crab. What do you think? I've only got eight in there, one's trying to escape. Well, it looks to me like the crab sharpener is definitely heavier. What's going to weigh more? 10 marbles or eight alien toys? So marble's gonna go on this side. Ooh. Oh no, look, the cup's come off the weight. So at the moment, that's definitely heavier. Let's put these aliens in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the marbles are definitely heavier. Should we see how many aliens we would need to make it the same weight as the marbles. We've got eight, nine, 10. It's starting to lift off, 11. Oh, so 11 is a bit too heavy. Right, let's try 10. Oh, and that's not quite, let's try 11 again. So it's between 10 and 11 aliens is the same as 10 marbles. So in the description, I have put a link to this game, which is about balancing scales. So I want you to have a go at playing that game and have a go at finding which one is heavier. So let's listen to what we have to do. Tap the one that is heavier. So we know the one that is heavier is the one that is further to it is it is tilted down. So it's gonna is it the watermelon or the orange? It's the watermelon, isn't it? So let's tap the watermelon. Fantastic. Brilliant. Tap the one that is heavier. So is it the pineapple or the app the pineapple or the apple? I want you to have a go playing that game at home. Again, the link is in the description below the video. Your activity for today, year one, you're going to need to find yourself an apple or something similar of a similar size and weight. What I need you to do then is I want you to go and find five other things from around your house. It can be anything. It could be a tin. It could be some more fruit. It could be a toy. And I want you to, in your hands, hold one in one hand and hold one thing in the other hand. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go with a pair of scissors. And I want you to have a think about which one is heavier and which one is lighter. So my apple is heavier, my scissors are lighter than the apple. Okay, and then what I want you to do is I want you to draw down your object in your books and write either lighter or heavier, depending on what it is. So the scissors, I would write lighter, okay? And I'll show you those words for your spellings in a moment. What I want you to do is, if you have got scales at home, I don't have scales at my house, you can measure the exact weight and see how much the things weigh and then try and put them in order. If you've not got scales, that's okay, because what you can do is, if you've got two light objects, so I'm gonna go for a ping pong ball, which is also lighter than an apple, and scissors, you can then try and hold these in one each in one hand. And which one's heavier? The scissors are heavier. So my list would go ping pong ball, scissors, apple. Because this is the lightest and this is the heaviest of those three. Okay, so you'll have hopefully six objects. See if you can get them from lightest to heaviest. Okay, bye for now.
Here are my six objects that I found from around my house. And they are in order of the lightest down this side and the heaviest up this end. And you might be thinking, Mr. Stilwell, that's not right because that tub on the end there is a lot bigger than that orange. Well, just because an object is bigger doesn't mean that it's heavier, okay? So the orange, the apple, the potato, and the pen, and the tin, are all heavier than that big tub because it's only got a light object in it. It's only got some sugar in it. It doesn't weigh as much as all of these other objects. When you're looking for objects around your house, some of them might already have the weight on them, so you'll be able to order them a bit easier. Like this tin has got the number there, you see? 415 grams, so that's how much that weighs. And let's look at this tub, this big tub down here as well. So this big tub, has got the weight on it, where is it? There it is, look. It says, try and focus a bit, there we go. 75 grams. That's 75 grams, so 75 grams weighs less than the beans, the tin of beans, which is, let me find it again, 415 grams. <laughs>